When George MacLeod talked about creating a laboratory for renewal and transformation, he could hardly have imagined Peter's creative vision for the inclusive, renewed facilities which are now being brought to fruition at Iona Abbey. It was a very different world. Even now, since the last AGM, the world has shifted significantly. But against all the odds, the Iona Abbey Capital Appeal is almost completed. Building work is now drawing to an end with only 65,000 left to secure of the 3.7 million targets. We have weathered many challenges and been blessed with a few miracles along the way. We have endured the stark discovery that the capital project to renovate the Abbey was not simply aspirational but imperative. It was a shock to learn that the Abbey infrastructure was failing and the monastic areas would not be fit for purpose in five years or less. This meant that the amount of money to be raised doubled from what was already a stretch to achieve, and it meant that we could not wait until we built up our fundraising capacity. We have endured the devastating tumult of leadership changes, starting with Peter MacDonald's illness and ultimately ending with his death. We have endured the shockwaves of COVID-19 and the subsequent lockdown, closing the construction site within days of completion and closing the doors on Iona community offices, with staff furloughed or shoring up operations from makeshift home offices. And yet, we have been so blessed. With Peter's vision and leadership that began, defined and drove forward this capital project from the very start, we have been blessed with dedicated volunteers and staff that have worked so hard for so long to support this incredibly complex project. The right people kept stepping up at just the right time. Margaret Smith, for example, who, during lockdown, has been inscribing donor names in immaculate calligraphy on Kells inspired pages for months. The finished book will be bound placed in a special carved wooden box and displayed in the Abbey. We have been blessed with the opportunity to reach out to and connect with many whose lives have been touched by the Iona community. People who were not already involved in supporting our work, such as Winchester College and the Wickmist Society of Graduates, who, as he was an alumnus, know of and appreciate George MacLeod's achievements. We have been blessed with the surprise of receiving the assets of the long defunct Ark of the Covenant, worth almost a million pounds. Surprise is probably not adequate to describe Benedict's reaction when a solicitor for the Ark called Carlton Court one day. They had been appointed by the Charities Commission to find a suitable charity to receive the remaining assets of the Ark of the Covenant, which had ceased to exist in the 50s. That purpose was to spread Christianity to remote places. Iona community somehow became the best fit, and it couldn't have come at a more fortuitous time, taking us within possible reach of the target and within renewed vigor into fundraising efforts. We've been blessed with a significant increase in the level of awareness of the Iona community and its work around the world through the love of so many for the Iona Abbey. 2000. 407 donors from 22 different countries have given in large ways and in small ways to the Capital Appeal. Many of them had never donated to the Iona community before. We have been blessed with a much enhanced collaborative relationship with the island organisations which have at the same time taken on major projects including new housing, the village hall and renewables we have and are still working closely. Through the focus on increased access, two new initiatives have emerged from the appeal. Support for the inclusion of marginalised groups to participate in community life at Iona Abbey, plus an initiative to digitise Iona community stories and records. So now, with the end in sight, we can anticipate the use of these beautiful new spaces and wonder how will they shape our future? We will actively offer a more inclusive welcome to work and worship in community and think creatively about how spaces can increase access. 
we will reach out to marginalised groups with a new networker post in partnership with others such as the Poverty and Truth Commission. We will nurture the new relationships that have merged through the seven-year journey of the appeal and build on significant intentional interest and support. We will model sustainable living whilst sharing the renewable story. And we will continue to enrich our relationships with other island projects and our mindfulness of the impact and contribution to the island community. The story of Iona Abbey is quite unique, one of the very few historical sites that is still being used for its original purpose, to be a sanctuary and a light. This still draws people from around the world to be inspired and awed. Once every few generations, there is a momentous new chapter in its story, but this part of our story coincides with such a significant chapter of our times in our families and our communities across the globe is both a challenge and a blessing. And we are reminded that the Reverend George MacLeod asked, Do people want Iona? as a memory of the past, or as an inspiration for days of difficulty ahead.